This is The Chris Berry Show. Expert information on wealth, estate, and tax planning for the second half of life. Information that you can understand. Here's your host, Chris Berry. Welcome, this is Chris Berry. And today, just like every day on the show, we're going to start with a positive focus. And I think the positive focus exercise is even more important in times like this. Because it's really easy to get burdened by everything that's going on, all the bad news. You log on to social media and it's uh, on one side funny uh, memes and jokes and on the other side it's uh, getting political and uh, people are attacking each other. So I think it is important to focus on the positives. And so uh, one of the positives is uh, my children. Uh, They're nine and seven, and they're really taking this in stride. Uh, And some of the things uh, that uh, I would say positive about this situation is uh, they've remained connected to their teachers. Uh, Their teachers have really stepped up and uh, with Zoom meetings and, and uh, virtual meetings, really have remained connected with the children and given the children opportunities to also connect with their friends as well. Uh, and then also the use of technology. Uh, my son, he's been FaceTiming with his friends as he plays online games together. So we're still feeling or figuring out ways to, uh, I wouldn't call it social distance because we're actually trying to be more social, but keep that physical distance in place. Uh, so if anything, uh, I would say that's a positive focus is just the way that my my children have been kind of dealing with this big change. It's tough for us as adults, let alone a nine and seven year old. And then their use of technology, uh, trying to remain connected as possible. Uh, with their friends and other family. So so today on the show, what we're going to talk about is this unexpected blow we've all experienced in five ways to help your finances recover. And I'm going to lay out five steps. And this might sound a little bit familiar, uh, but and I've talked about this before, but I was just interviewed by Kiplinger's Retirement uh, on this and uh, put together an article Uh, called the five ways to help your finances recover. And this could be used really during any type of uh, crisis or downturn. And and that's certainly what we're in now. Uh, And I think there were warning signs that the stock market might falter this year. Uh, We are going into a presidential election. We're on a 12-year run. Uh, But let's face it, there's always warning signs. Um, Most people expect volatility surrounding the presidential election. Uh, Whenever we move into a presidential election year, it's always a little bit more volatile. Uh, But And we knew that we were on this record-setting bull run, and it couldn't last forever. But I don't think anyone predicted that a killer pandemic would upend every aspect of our lives, uh, where now toilet paper is uh, more valuable than money sometimes. Uh, and now we have uh, both the job market and stock market and a little bit of a free, fro- free, bleh, free fall. So if you're wondering what to do next, uh, understand you're not alone. We're all going through this together. Uh, but that said, what I've been talking to uh, my clients and uh, people have been reaching out to us from this radio show, uh, here are five uh ways that you can help your finances. Uh, The first one is stay calm and consider your next moves. So we're all going through a little bit of a a scary situation where uh, things aren't quite the way they were before. And so one's natural reaction would be to tense up. Uh, My my undergrad, uh, when I went to Grand Valley, uh, I was part of the honors program there, uh, but I was in finance as well as psychology. Uh, So I have a finance degree and a psychology degree. And from a psychological standpoint, I completely understand what's going on. When when you're scared, when you're tense, it's hard to uh, not act emotionally. But that's where the help of an advisor, a counselor, someone else that you can bounce ideas off of, uh, someone a little bit more removed from the situation can provide some uh, perspective. 
And that's really the role that we serve for a lot of our clients is uh, not only am I an uh, attorney and investment advisor, but a part of that attorney is being a counselor. And so really what I found is that as we've been helping families, uh, we first need to make sure that given the uh, events that we've experienced, uh, that we make the right logical, intelligent decision to get through this and when we come out the other side to be in the best position possible. Because if we're paralyzed by fear and emotion, uh, we might either do nothing, which is taking an action in itself. Uh, there are some things that we should do. We can't just put our heads in the sand and pretend uh, uh, that the world hasn't changed. That, that's, that's taking an action in itself, and that's choosing inaction. Uh, imagine uh, you're in a, a situation where uh, a car was coming right at you. If you just stand there, you're going to get hit by the car. So we need to take an action. And, and not taking an action is an action in itself. And, and that's probably not the right decision right now. The world has changed and we need to make some different choices based on that. And they should be based on logic and numbers and intelligence, not based on emotion and reactionary. So again, we can't control the events. Uh, we have to get past the day-to-day -day fears and make intelligence, financial, legal, and tax decisions coming out of this because your retirement depends on this. This is important stuff. Uh, the rest of your future depends on the choices you make today. We can't control the past. We have to think about what can we do today to put ourselves in the best position today as well as put ourselves in the best position for our future self. So I just go back to the simple phrase of we cannot control the events. Uh, we can control our responses. So that's the first thing is to kind of get our mindset right to be able to make decisions. Uh, versus uh, getting agitated. And, and sometimes, actually, uh, I was listening to an interview with David Bach. Uh, sometimes talking to someone about your fears isn't really the best way to handle things, especially if that person is also scared or, or, or afraid. Uh, and you can imagine this. Uh, imagine uh, uh, you're, you're sharing your fears with someone else, and they're sharing their fears with you, and it's just a downward, sp downward spiral where you get more agitated and even more fearful. Uh, so that's where we really come into play for our clients is we're trying to be that voice of reason during this time. Uh, and sometimes it's helpful, and this was the exercise David Bach was talking about, is to actually write out kind of the worst case scenario uh, and write out what that means to you. And sometimes writing uh, has a, a different uh, feeling than talking things out. So if you are concerned or scared, maybe write out those fears versus sharing with someone else who's also scared. Or, you know what, give us a call. We're, we're here to help you. We're not going to send you into a, a fear spiral uh, where now we're going to make emotional decisions. Uh, I think one thing that we really pride ourselves on is our methodical and logical process in which we help our clients. So Again, first thing, stay as calm as you consider your next moves. We can't control the events. We can only control our responses. And then the next thing, so number two, if first is stay calm as you consider your next moves. Number two is update your legal documents. Uh, people are often surprised when they realize how out of date their legal documents are, uh, even if they've bothered to create them at all in the first place. And one thing I've found is uh, within the last month or so is just how vitally important it is to have your rule book in place. Uh, because right now the government is, some parts of it are shut down. For example, trying to get a guardianship or conservatorship, uh, good luck because courts are really only handling uh, emergency matters. Uh, in fact, uh, I had a situation where um, kind of a uh, kind of a sad situation with dad where uh, we'll, we'll call it a fictional client. Uh, dad has dementia. Uh, one of the family members who really hasn't been kind of part of their life at all uh, came into the life uh, of dad and kind of trying to steal his money and make decisions for him. And and uh, dad just doesn't understand what's going on. And so we were in the process uh, of uh, going through a guardianship proceeding to, to make sure that this um, – kind of deadbeat in-law uh, family member uh, doesn't get control of dad's finances or is 
able to make decisions with regards to its care. Uh, but unfortunately, the courts are shut down right now. And so this matter isn't going to get resolved. So that's one of the, the most important things to understand is you need to have your own set of rules right now. You need to have your own rule book. And probably the most important thing is what's called a medical power of attorney. It's a document appointing someone to make medical decisions if you're unable to. Uh, and for example, if you get a knock in your head, you have a stroke, you go to the hospital, you're unable to make medical decisions. Uh, well, the medical providers who are already stressed out enough with everything else going on, they need to know who the decision maker is. And so that medical power of attorney is probably the most important document. Uh, and along with that is a financial power of attorney to be able to make financial decisions for loved ones. And really your rule book consists of, of a couple legal documents. So a comprehensive estate plan typically involves a trust, a will, a financial power of attorney, a medical power of attorney, and then we need to have some type of um, uh, deed for your real estate. So if you own a home, make sure the home avoids probate. And so those are the legal documents that almost everyone needs. Uh, and there's a discussion of whether you need a will versus a trust, but that's a discussion for another day. But I would say a majority of people do have a trust. And there are different types of trusts out there, uh, but a majority of people do have some type of trust. So you have your trust, your will, your financial power of attorney, medical power of attorney, uh, and we need to make sure we have some type of deed deeding your property. And again, right now, that medical power of attorney is one of the most important documents you can have. Uh, and it's so important. One of the things that we're offering for any healthcare providers as a thank you for what's going on right now, for you really being our first line of defense. So if you're a nurse or a doctor or a EMT or something like that, and you're listening to the show, give our office a call at 844-885-4200. And what we can do is we can put together a free medical power of attorney for you. So again, if you are a, a healthcare professional right now, uh, I, I, I have a lot of clients that are, and, and I'm hearing stories from the front lines. Uh, one of the ways that we want to thank you is put together that free medical power of attorney. So just give our office a call at 844-885-4200, and we can get that done. Now, if you're listening to this show and you haven't had your documents updated since 2012, uh, whether there's changes in law and the financial power of attorney, uh, uh, where there has to be some acceptance language, uh, or you don't have any documents at all, uh, understand that we can get things done right now. We are obviously an essential business with the uh, uh, financial management and, and the legal aspect uh, and the tax planning that we do. Uh, and we are trying to work as virtually as possible. And thankfully, uh, the governor the other day issued an executive order that we can get legal documents signed without even being present. Uh, all we need to do is do it over some type of video conferencing software, like say a Zoom or a FaceTime. So we already have a process in place where if you're looking at your, your situation, your financial house, and you want to get your house in order, you don't have that estate plan, you don't have that will or that trust or those really important powers of attorney right now, uh, we have a virtual process where you don't even have to leave your living room where we can get these documents signed. And what we would do is we would have either a phone call or a Zoom web conferencing meeting uh, where we figure out where you're at. We use a tool called an estate planning audit to figure out where you want to go. And if there's a gap there, then we'll go ahead and we'll close that gap. We'll design a plan to close that gap. And maybe it's a trust. Maybe it's a will. Maybe it's a financial power of attorney or a medical power of attorney. Well, we can have that first meeting uh, where we figure out where you're at and we can review whatever documents you have or we've done this thousands of times uh, without even looking at it. I can guess probably what your documents say or by the date that they were done, I would know that they have to be updated. Or maybe you don't have any documents at all. That's fine too. Uh, but if you do have documents already in place, if you have an electronic copy, you can send them over to us. We'll review it. We'll walk you through that estate planning audit. 
uh, so that you can get some peace of mind. And maybe your documents are in tip-top shape and and everything's great. Uh, or maybe there's some things that need to be fixed. For example, again, if you're listening to this and you haven't updated your documents since 2012, those powers of attorney need to be updated for the changes in law. Uh, we just ran into this uh, the other day where a bank was not honoring a financial power of attorney because it was older than 2012. So if your documents are older than 2012, you're sitting around in your living room right now, uh, now's the time to get them updated. And, and you can do that right from your uh, living room. You don't even have to come into our office. Again, and what our process is, our virtual process, is we have a, a phone call or a web conference meeting, figure out where you're at, figure out what you need to do. Then it takes us uh, at least a couple days to put everything together for you. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll either mail out documents for you to review or we'll send them over electronically. Uh, you'll have a meeting, a phone call or a web meeting with one of our paralegals to review the documents with you. Uh, if everything looks good, then we can have a virtual signing meeting where you can sign in your own kitchen table uh, as long as you have some type of FaceTime or, or Zoom uh, web conferencing open with us. Uh, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll get those documents from you. We'll notarize them because with the governor's new uh, executive order, uh, we can do remote witnessing and remote uh, notarization so we can help clients throughout Michigan. And then you can have your, your rule book versus relying on the government's rule book. And again, this is vitally important, especially that medical power of attorney. If you don't have a medical power of attorney, understand, even if you're married or we're talking about one of your kids or something and they're adults, just because you're related doesn't give someone the authority to make these decisions. It has to be in writing. And we can turn that medical power of attorney document around pretty darn quickly. Uh, so again, if you're listening to this, I invite you to give us a call at 844-885-4200. And uh, we can put together those legal documents for you without you even having to leave uh, your living room. So this has been Chris Berry. We'll continue the conversation as we talk about five ways to help your finances recover in the scary times. We're Madison and Ryan Berry. Our dad is Chris Berry from the Castle Wealth Group. The Castle Wealth Group used to be the elder care firm, but dad wanted the company to be broader in its scope of services. To not only protect and preserve assets, but to help people grow their assets to prepare for retirement. As a certified elder law attorney and fiduciary financial advisor, our dad and his team at Castle Wealth Group can help you with lots of important things. To tell you more, here's our dad, Chris Berry. Thanks, Maddie and Ryan. Here at the Castle Wealth Group, we can help you put together an estate plan to avoid probate, work with you on a tax plan to keep more money for your family and less for Uncle Sam, and protect you against the devastating cost of long-term care. Our team is here for your family. I invite you to learn more about the Castle Wealth Group at our next free workshop, where you will learn the three steps to create a legal, financial, and tax plan for the second half of life. Call us today to register at 844-885-4200. The Castle Wealth Group, formerly the Elder Care Firm. Learn more at thecastlewealthgroup.com today. So we're talking about five ways to help your finances recover, to put yourself in the best position possible given these scary times. So the first one was stay calm as you consider your next moves. Again, we want to make intelligent, rational, logical decisions versus operating from emotion. Second, update your legal documents. Uh, one of the most important things is having that medical power of attorney. Uh, if you are a health care provider, we'll go ahead and, and put together your medical power of attorney at no cost for you as a thank you for your service. If you're not a medical provider or a health care provider and you haven't updated your documents since 2012 or you want a second opinion, we can go ahead and do that as well. Give our office a call at 844-885-4200. And again, one of the things that is available right now due to the governor's executive order is remote witnessing and notarization. 
So uh, we do have a process to get these legal documents done virtually, uh, where you can get them done from your own living room or your kitchen. And we are an essential business. We're working as virtually as possible, but obviously we have to be available to help our clients right now because things are happening. I had uh, one of my clients' uh, moms just passed away, uh, and it was it's actually kind of sad because we can't do any funeral or anything right now. Uh, another client's... A couple clients, you have loved ones in nursing homes right now. So it's a, it's a scary time. Things are still happening, even though uh, our economy is kind of shutting down and, and our governor is trying to shut us down uh, as well. So uh, five ways to help your finances recover. Stay calm as you consider your next moves. Update your legal documents. Again, we have a process to get those updated right now. Uh, And again, with uh, that first one of staying calm as you consider your next moves, uh, inaction is a move in itself. And so if you choose inaction, understand that's your choice. There are things that you can do for your family to put yourself in a better position uh, as you go through this, uh, and, and we can go through this with you, as well as when we come out of this. The third thing is review your tax plan. So many people view taxes through what we call a micro lens of just trying to minimize taxes in a specific year versus looking at taxes through a macro lens uh, of over your lifetime as well as uh, what you leave to your loved ones and beneficiaries upon death. But there's a lot going on right now from a tax standpoint. And I've talked about this previously on the show before. And even going into 2020, tax planning was one of the biggest opportunities available. Uh, because of a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, we have the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2018, uh, which basically says taxes are on sale from 2018 to 2025, where if you, right now you're in the 22% tax bracket, let's say you're a married couple making $100,000, that puts you in the 22% tax bracket. Uh, well, uh, in 2025, that uh, $100,000 will put you into the 25% uh, tax bracket. Uh, Right now, if you're at the 24, that's jumping up to 28. So we knew taxes were going up uh, since 2018. So we've been talking to clients about this tax planning concept. And then add on top of that that we just had the SECURE Act passed. uh, That passed uh, December 20th of uh, 2019, so near the end of the year. And it became effective January 1st, 2020. Uh, and in fact, we had a lot of Secure Act workshops for our existing clients uh, because, again, if you haven't updated your estate plan or, or looked at your beneficiary designations, thanks to the Secure Act, it's something that should be reviewed. Uh, and then on top of that, just, and this is my own belief, is I think taxes have to go higher in the future because prior to this year, we were $23 trillion in debt. And then with this CARES Act that just passed, uh, it just added another $2 trillion in debt. So now we're at $25 trillion in debt as a country. And government's writing checks. We have this unemployment. uh, Government's bailing out the airlines. uh, So apparently they're getting this special treatment. Well, guess what? That has to, that money has to come from somewhere. So a lot of people think taxes are have to go up. And then with the market decline, now is an opportune time to look at moving money out of those tax-deferred buckets. So think about things like Roth conversions. Uh, think about pulling money from those tax-deferred accounts, those IRAs, the 401ks, the 403bs. Those are the tax-deferred accounts. You, you're, you pay tax when you pull the money out. And if you think taxes are going up in the future, doesn't it make sense to look at pulling, paying the tax sooner rather than later? Wouldn't it make more sense to get taxed on the seed versus the harvest? And I'm looking at this just from the way the laws are written. The laws are written that in five years from now, taxes are going up. So just by paying the taxes sooner rather than later, you might save yourself 3 to 4% in taxes which doesn't sound like a lot, but that could be tens of thousands of dollars. And one of the things that we can do is run a tax analysis and figure out how much should you be uh, converting to Roth or how much should you be pulling out of those traditional IRAs, maybe looking at some alternative options as well. Uh, Because there's two aspects. One is how much should we move out of the IRA? And then second is where should we put it? 
Uh, should we put it inside of an asset protection trust? Should we look at index universal life? Should we look at a Roth conversion? There's different options out there based on, again, what your goals are. And that's where we always start. We start with what are your goals? Then we develop the strategies to help you achieve the goals. Then we pick the right tools uh, to help you achieve your goals. Uh, so we do have a, a very kind of strict process where as an attorney, I have to act in your best interest. As a fiduciary, I have to act in your best interest. Very different than a lot of people out there who hold themselves out as a uh, financial professionals when in reality they just have a suitability standard. So we always have to operate in your best interest. And for a lot of our clients right now, it's in their best interest to think about tax planning. And this is something that we can help you with. And we're not talking about tax preparation, though we do do that as well. What we're talking about is developing a tax plan for retirement and for what you're leaving to the next generation. Because this is important not just for your retirement, but it's also important based on what you're leaving to the next generation because that SECURE Act passed, and now we're operating under uh, the SECURE Act. And we actually uh, just uh, put together a webinar for clients and friends uh, on the SECURE Act. It's basically the workshop that I was doing just for clients uh, prior to this coronavirus pandemic breaking out where uh, having a workshop with 20 people there uh, doesn't make sense. So we've transitioned a lot of our educational pieces uh, two workshops. And one of the things we're in the process of doing is putting together what we call the uh, Retirement Planning Masterclass, where we're, we're going to dive into all five areas of retirement. So income planning, investment planning, uh, tax planning, healthcare planning, uh, legacy planning, and breaking each one of those out as a module. Uh, so that'll be something that we should have available within about a week or so. Uh, because uh, we really believe in education. We want our clients well-educated. Uh, my dad was an educator. He was a professor. He got his PhD from U of M in psychology and went on to be a professor for over 40-some years. Uh, so I think teaching is in my blood. So uh, look for those uh, webinars. Uh, and the way that you're going to be able to access that is uh, you have to go to our website and uh, or just send us an email. Uh, you can email me at chris at castlewealthgroup.com, and I can make sure you get those uh, webinars once they're available. Uh, but yeah, so I was talking about reviewing your tax plan. So now is an opportune time. And, and one of the things with the market downturn, if you were considering, say, a Roth conversion this year, it typically we wait till the end of the year to uh, kind of calculate how much to do, uh, how much to move out. But now is really the opportune time because the markets just took a dip. And if you think the markets are going to recover anytime soon, then let's pull the money out of that IRA uh, when the markets decline so that we can capture the upside in maybe a tax-free bucket. Maybe we can capture the upside in Index Universal Life or inside of a Roth IRA. So now that money can grow tax-free. Uh, and if you look at kind of the timing of when we would utilize these assets, because a lot of people ask, well, if I put it into a Roth, I'm not supposed to touch it for five years or something like that. And the answer is yes, because you want to allow that money to grow as much as possible. And if you do take it out, you could lose some of the tax benefits. Uh, but most people, there, there shouldn't be a reason why you'd want to pull money out of a Roth uh, sooner rather than later. That typically goes into that later bucket of money. So, again, think about your tax plan right now. And this is something that we can help you with. Uh, and this is one of the things that makes us different than just your regular investment advisor. Maybe you have someone at Morgan Stanley or Edward Jones or uh, some stockbroker that helps you with your investments. Or maybe you have your money at Chase or Fidelity. Um, that's investments planning, uh, and that's important, and, and we do that as well, but uh, really what we're talking about, tax planning. And it's such a value add to our clients uh, because you can't really control the markets. Uh, if you have some guy who's selling you hot stock tips, uh, that's not really our process or our philosophy. The market's going to do what the market's going to do. But taking control of your tax plan and looking at it on a macro level versus a micro level, it is something that we can control. And I think that's important right now is it seems uh, I think a lot of people feel like life is out of control right now. Well, taking control of your finances, of your legal plan, 
uh, it's something you can control. And again, this gets back to the, the first concept is we got to stay calm and consider your next moves. So there's a lot of things out of our control right now. Well, we have a governor who's giving us executive orders every week uh, where if you go shopping and you buy a, a can of paints, you're going to get fined. Uh, and a lot of people feel like that's giving up control. I'm with you on that. Uh, but there are things we can control. And so controlling our finances, making the right financial moves, making the right tax moves, that's something that we can control. And if you want some more information on putting together your own, uh, uh, putting together a tax plan, looking at taxes, not through a micro lens, but through a macro lens, give our office a call, 844-885-4200. Happy to talk with you and, and talk about what that would look like. But basically what we would do is we would run use, use some of our uh, proprietary software and we work with actuaries on this um, to calculate what would be your tax burden if you stay the current route versus what would be your tax burden if we put together a plan of moving to a more tax-efficient retirement. Uh, so this is something that we can assist you with if you want to see what that looks like. Uh, and that'll bring us to number four. And number four, so catching you up, the five ways to help your finances recover in this uh, unexpected blow from coronavirus. Uh, number one, stay as calm as you or stay calm as you consider your next moves. Number two, update your legal documents. Number three, review your tax plan. Okay, this brings me to number four, and number four is fortify your retirement income plan. So because market volatility is always a risk, and it's something some investors might have forgotten during our long bull run, and uh, trust me, I've been talking to a lot of people who uh, subscribe to that uh, concept of, well, uh, I'll just continue to uh, collect my dividends and my interest and, and that 4% rule. Well, guess what? We, we kind of took a, a punch to the face here, a punch to the gut, right? Uh, so this is where we have what we call the fortified income score. And it's important to look at where your guaranteed retirement income streams are, such as Social Security or workplace pension. And we want to cover those monthly expenses because when you move into retirement, all of a sudden those paychecks fall. And if there is a shortfall, you may have to find a way to close that gap. Perhaps it's working a few years longer or uh, creating a plan uh, to create more income in retirement. And again, uh, the last 12 years, it's been pretty easy to just look at, well, my investments will kick off enough interest and dividends to cover that income gap. Uh, but if you subscribe to that uh, philosophy, uh, you just experienced what the, the downfall of that is, is if the market declines, all of a sudden your income declines as well. And it's not anything to be ashamed of. There's a lot of uh, people that subscribe to that philosophy, but this is the risk of it. And, and you're experiencing it right now. And it's something called sequence return risk. So especially if you're early or just moving into retirement and you you didn't have a retirement income plan in place, uh, then it's, it's going to be a little bit of a, a, a you're going to have to dig yourself out of a hole a little bit and, and create that plan uh, and maybe look at different strategies. And, and this is where, uh, again, I've had some conversations with some people that said, well, I can't do anything now because the market's just declined. Well, that's not a plan. You're making a choice. That's an action you're choosing. And it's probably not the best plan to have. Uh, well, I don't think it is even a plan. It's making a choice not to have a plan. Uh, so again, I think right now one of the most important things is to fortify your retirement income plan. And we have a tool called a fortified income score, and I can share this with you. Uh, but basically what we do is we look at your expenses or your income need versus your guaranteed sources of income, and we come up with a score. And most people, uh, at least a lot of the ones that we work with, feel comfortable in the 80 to 100 uh, percent range. Uh, so think of it uh, almost like a grade, you know. Uh, but I've seen some people, and if you're one of those people that were relying on that maybe 4 percent rule of I'll just draw out 4 percent of my investments, whether they're going up or down, well, you're experiencing what we call sequence of return risk. And uh, it's not really a good plan when we have a lot of volatility. If everything continued going up always, uh, then that's great. But uh, with this market volatility, uh, that 4% rule maybe does not make sense. And I have some white papers on this that can help explain it as well. 
you're interested in figuring out how this applies to you, give our office a call, 844-885-4200, and we can schedule a, a free strategy call or a Zoom meeting right now. And with that, uh, we'll continue the conversation. Madison and Ryan Berry here from the Castle Wealth Group, formerly the Elder Care Firm. Our dad is Chris Berry. He's an attorney and fiduciary financial advisor, which means he helps families plan, protect, and preserve their assets. The entire team at the Castle Wealth Group can help you with lots of important things. To tell you more, here's our dad, Chris Berry. Thanks, Maddie and Ryan. Here at the Castle Wealth Group, we can help you put together an estate plan to avoid probate, work with you on a tax plan to keep more money for your family and less for Uncle Sam, and protect you against the devastating cost of long-term care. Our team is here for your family. I invite you to learn more about the Castle Wealth Group at our next free workshop, where you will learn the three steps to create a legal, financial, and tax plan for the second half of life. Call us today to register at 844-885-4200, 844-885-4200, or visit us at castlewealthgroup.com. The Castle Wealth Group, formerly the Elder Care Firm. Learn more at the castlewealthgroup.com today. All right, so we're talking about the five ways to help your finances recover in these scary times. Number one, stay calm as you consider your next moves. Remember, we can't control the events. We can only control our responses. And not taking action is a a choice in itself. Number two, update your legal documents. Right now, the most important document you can have is that power of attorney. And if it's older than 2012, it needs to be updated for those changes in law. Number three, review your tax plan. Look at taxes not through a micro lens of minimizing taxes any specific year, but review it on a macro lens. Uh, Look at taxes over your lifetime. Make sure you avoid what we call the widow's penalty, where one spouse passes away. How's that surviving spouse going to manage, knowing that now there might be more tax on Social Security? You're shrinking the tax bracket from going from married filing jointly to a single filing. Uh, And then based on the SECURE Act as well, understanding what you're leaving to the next generation and how if you're leaving pre-tax IRAs to the next generation, you might be putting them in a hole from a tax perspective. Uh, Going into 2020, this was the biggest opportunity for a lot of retirees and investors is looking at a tax plan based on the tax code, Uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2018 to 2025, the SECURE Act, and now we have the CARES Act. Speaking of the CARES Act, uh, one of the opportunities, uh, depending on how you've been affected by the pandemic this year, is prior to 59 and a half, pulling money out of your traditional IRA or 401k penalty free. Uh, You could pull up to $100,000 right now. So again, if you've been affected by the pandemic financially, One of the opportunities, especially if you think taxes are going to go up in the future, is you can pull up to $100,000 from your pre-tax accounts, IRAs, 401ks, only if the plan administrator allows you with a 401k. Again, this is where IRAs typically offer more freedom than 401ks. But you could pull the money out of that account and pay the tax over the next couple of years. Uh, So you're even able to spread out that tax. Now, you might want to pay the tax all in this year, especially if your income did take a dip. Uh, But the CARES Act, uh, which has just passed, which adds, again, another $2 trillion in debt, uh, gives us another tax planning opportunity. And if whoever you're working with isn't talking to you about these tax planning opportunities, uh, not to throw any of the brokerage houses or or broker dealers under the bus, uh, but it's typically something that they're not talking to you about or they're saying, go talk to your tax professional. Well, give us a call at 844-885-4200. We're more than happy to talk to you about tax planning. Uh, minimizing taxes, not over a given year, but over a lifetime, especially with uh, the way the government's spending and giving everyone uh, uh, checks and and, uh, adding another $2 trillion in debt. I don't know how we're going to handle this in the future. Number four, fortify your retirement income plan. Uh, It's been pretty darn easy over the last 12 years in this bull run to just assume that the market's always going to go up. Uh, In fact, I had a conversation with someone uh, 
who uh, we were talking about different strategies and, and I recommended something and, and he commented, well, if uh, I, I get 6% a year for the X amount of years, I'm going to come out ahead. I'm like, well, that's great if you get 6% a year, but we've had down, uh, we've had lost decades. Uh, so we had a decade where uh, I think uh, we actually lost 1%. Uh, I, I don't have that right in front of me, but from basically 2000 to 2009, uh, over that time period, you didn't get your 6 percent because we had the 2002 uh, and then the 2008 collapse, right? So you don't get a 6% every year, even though that might be the average. And what you need to understand is there's what's called sequence of return risk. Uh, and if the market goes down early in retirement, that's going to have a dramatic effect on your retirement. In fact, I have a, a graph uh, a spreadsheet I, I share uh, with clients, especially my engineering clients. They always need to see the numbers. Um, so if you're subscribing to that, that you're going to continually earn 6% in the market and you can pull out 4% a year without any penalty, chances are you're, you're, you're feeling it a little bit right now. So that's why we need to have fortify your retirement income plan. And, and that's a lot of times where we start with our planning is we need to make sure that we have a good plan for income. And we have a tool called the Fortified Income Score, where we look at how much, uh, what your expenses or, or desired income is versus your uh, guaranteed sources of income like Social Security and pension. And based on that, there's a score uh, associated with that uh, on, on 1 to 100. And it's kind of like a percentage. So think of it as a grade. Like a B is good, 80% is good. Uh, a lot of people like an A, 90%. Uh, but I see a lot of people running around, especially if you're one of those individuals subscribing to that 4% rule of, uh, I was just uh, reviewing with the family the other day, 42%. So their fortified income score was 42%. That would be failing uh, if you're in, in school. So uh, if everything goes rosy and the, it's always going up, the markets are going up, then yeah, it, it's not as a big concern. But we know that the markets don't always go up, and, and that's what we're experiencing now. So now might be the time to fortify your retirement income plan, and that's something that we can help you with through our fortified uh, retirement and legacy planning process. And just give our office a call, and we can help you establish what your fortified income score is uh, and maybe where you want it to be. Uh, 844-885-4200 to give us a call. Uh, you can visit us on the web at castlewealthgroup.com. Uh, number five, consider a risk realignment. And this kind of goes hand in hand with that income score. So over the past 12 years, while the market has been on a tear, it's been easy to say you're the kind of investor who's willing to take on risk. But with this downturn, maybe it's time to analyze just how much risk you're really willing to deal with emotionally and how much risk you can afford. And there's a great, great quote, uh, and I think I'm pretty sure it was Mike Tyson, or maybe it was attributed to Mike Tyson. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Uh, of course, he was talking about boxing, but it, it really applies to any part of life, whether the hit comes from a health problem, losing your job or business, or what's happening to your investments. We've definitely been punched in the mouth by the coronavirus, and it's affected everyone. It's affected me. It's affected my family. Uh, it's affected my clients. We can't deny that. Um, but if, you're, if your plan failed you because you're too aggressive for your timeline, analysis could give you an idea of how the risk of your portfolio matches up realistically with your goals. So let's say we just got punched in the mouth. How do you feel about that? Are, are you able to kind of continue? Maybe now is a time to look at not just turtling up and and just hoping everything blows over, but maybe we should reevaluate our plan. Maybe now we should get a second opinion. Maybe you're a do-it-yourselfer, uh, have everything in Vanguard accounts, and now it's a little bit scary out there, and you need to run some ideas by someone. We're here for you. Just give us a call at 844-885-4200. Uh, you can give us a call. We can bounce ideas uh, back and forth. And again, we have a very structured, logical, intelligent process to make sure that we're making choices in your best interest. We call it the Fortified Retirement and Legacy Process, where we analyze five key areas for you. Your income plan. We look at that fortified income score. We look at Social Security optimization. Uh, your investment plan. How much risk are you willing to take on? Uh, and, and again, with everything going on right now, we need to be a little bit more honest with that question. Because, yeah, over the last 12 years, everyone said, yeah, let's ratchet up the risk because the markets have only been going up. 
Uh, and really, from an investment standpoint, you could throw a dart at a dartboard, and chances are that investment would have went up the last couple of years. But now, again, we've been punched in the gut, and now we need to really rethink our planning. Uh, and if you need assistance with that or you want to bounce some ideas off, uh, and what we can do as a listener of the show, just say that you listen to the show, uh, give us a call, and we can do a complimentary uh, Zoom meeting or phone call where, first of all, what, we figure out kind of where you're at. Uh, and before we even start talking finances or investments or, or legal planning, really, it's just how you hanging in there. And, and that's really the first question that I've uh, asked as I, I picked up the phone and talked to clients or uh, on these Zoom meetings is how you hanging in there? Uh, what's changed? Uh, what's something positive? And I, I try to bring it back to that positive focus because uh, a lot of people are looking at us as, as leaders. Uh, and, and the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're making calm, logical, intelligent, rational decisions when it comes to legal, financial, and tax planning. This is not the time to be making emotional decisions. So a lot of times when I'm talking to my clients or talking to people who call in from this radio show, uh, one of the things that we first do is uh, not to get all uh, um, wishy-washy or, or like essential oils and crystals, but we need to get our mind right. We need to make sure that we're making calm, rational decisions. And then from there, we look at developing that income plan. What is your fortified income score? Uh, let's look at our investments. How comfortable uh, are we with the money that we have in the market? How much risk should we be taking on in that portfolio? Third, we look at tax planning. This is a huge opportunity right now. Uh, I can't stress this enough. And for the people who are turtling up and not taking action right now, you're missing a huge tax planning opportunity. Uh, this is going into this year. Uh, this was really a sweet spot in terms of tax planning. Uh, and then adding on top of that with a downturn in the market, there's some huge opportunities to come out of this uh, over the next, say, five years in such a better position from a tax perspective. I can't stress this enough uh, that I really think that the taxes are going to have to go up with us being 23, was it $25 trillion in debt now? Uh, the, the tax train is coming. And if you're not pulling money out of those IRAs or considering a strategy that involves pulling money out of the traditional IRAs, uh, pulling that money off of the train tracks to avoid this tax train that's coming, uh, you're going to be hitting taxes. Because guess what? If taxes go up, the value of your IRAs go down. It's no different than having an adjustable rate mortgage. Almost everyone agrees that the government has to adjust the tax rates up. Well, guess what? If they adjust the tax rates up, your million-dollar IRA might be $300,000 post-tax right now. Well, guess what? Instead of It might be only 500000 instead of uh, that million. So if they adjust taxes, understand that the value of your traditional IRAs go down. So if you don't have a tax plan for the next five years, you're really missing a huge opportunity right now. Uh, and again, uh, this isn't something that your Morgan Stanley guy, no offense to them, or Edward Jones, or your, your investment guy. If you have an investment guy, that's great. Uh, but you need to have a plan. There's more than just managing investments. It's all about having a true plan. Uh, and again, you might have someone that does your taxes, or you might do them yourself. Well, that's looking in the rearview mirror. We're talking about looking forward. Not looking at taxes from a micro lens, but from a macro lens. So, uh, so five ways to help your finances recover. Stay calm as you consider your next moves. Uh, number two, update your legal documents. Number three, review your tax plan. Uh, number four, fortify your retirement income plan. This is where we look at your retirement income score. Uh, and if you don't have one or you're not happy with it or you don't understand how that works, just give us a call, 844-885-4200. And number five, consider a risk alignment. And again, I was talking about the five areas that we analyze when we're putting together a plan, a retirement legacy plan for our clients. First, we look at income planning, uh, making sure that we've optimized Social Security. Uh, second, we look at your investment plan, making sure we have the right amount of risk. Third, a tax plan making sure that we have a plan 
uh, for taxes, uh, putting yourself in the best position possible, making sure that we maximize what's left to the next generation. Uh, fourth, healthcare planning. So looking at what is the best Medicare plan for you. And then very important, looking at long-term care costs. Cost of a nursing home these days is twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars a month. The question is, how are you going to go ahead and pay for that? And we have different strategies that we can utilize to help you plan for long-term care. And that's something that's been interesting. Is I've seen a lot of clients or a lot of people who we were going down the route of planning for long-term care, but then with this market downturn, uh, they've decided not to move forward with that. And that raises two red flags to me. One. Guess what? If you have a stroke, they don't care how the market's doing. Okay, You're going to have to find a way to pay for long-term care. And that's just the cold, hard facts. And then number two, that tells me that you don't have a true plan. You don't have a plan for market downturns. Okay, You should have a plan. The market's not always going to go up. Yeah, it's been going up for the 12, last 12 years, uh, but that's a little bit of an anomaly. The market is typically relatively volatile. We typically have a dip every few years, like once within every 10 years, we have some type of dip. And if your plan didn't take that into account, you're making different decisions based on that. Maybe it's time for a second opinion because the clients that I've been talking to who we've been working with to managing their finances, it's a much different conversation than those people who have been doing it themselves, uh, where a lot of times uh, th this is the way the call goes. They say, hey, how are you hanging in there? Is your family safe and healthy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ask a couple questions about the markets, where I think it's going. Uh, but a lot of times it's, yeah, we'll just follow the plan. Uh, we had our time horizons. Uh, we understood what they are. We understood that 2020 was a year of volatility. No one expected this. But again, if you have a plan, if you have your retire fortified income score, uh, if you understand the idea of time horizons in terms of your investments, uh, then you should be you're, you'll be able to weather this storm. But if you're just looking at it just as how much uh, money can I invest, and I don't have an income plan, and let's get as aggressive as possible and not look at time horizons, then yeah, you might be struggling a little bit. And I'm not trying to put you down. There's a lot of people in that bucket. But again, you don't have to be there. You have a choice. And it's all about having a plan at the end of the day. So if you are struggling a little bit, you have questions, you want a second opinion, you don't feel comfortable with what's going on, uh, given the events, uh, you want some help figuring out what is the next response that you should do, the next action, give our office a call, 844-885-4200. We're here for you. If you're a healthcare provider right now and you don't have a medical power of attorney, we'll do that for free. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, I, I look at 9-11 and it's time we thanked our first responders, our firefighters. I think this pandemic, we need to really be reaching out to those healthcare providers. They're really front lines for us all. And, and I appreciate all the work and efforts. Uh, I have some clients who've been working nonstop, 12-hour days, and I just thank you for that. So thank you so much. Make it a great week. more about Chris Berry and how he can help your family by visiting online at thechrisberryshow.com. That's thechrisberryshow.com. You can also call Chris Berry at 810-355-2584. That's 810-355-2584. This program content reflects the opinions of Chris Berry and his guests, not the elder care firm Prosperity Capital Advisors or the Castle Wealth Group, and is subject to change at any time without notice. Content provided herein is for informational purposes only and should not be used or construed as investment or legal advice or as a recommendation regarding the purchase or sale of any security or to follow any legal or tax strategy. There's no guarantee that the strategist's statements, opinions, or forecasts provided herein will prove to be correct. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Indices are not available for direct investment. Any investor who attempts to mimic the performance of an index would incur fees and expenses which would reduce returns. All investing involves risk, including the potential for loss of principal. There's no guarantee that any investment plan or strategy will be successful. We recommend that you consult with a professional dedicated to your needs. This program is furnished by the Elder Care Firm.